Hi everyone, welcome back finally to another episode of Mama May Plays Minecraft. So today what I would like to talk about is bees. And so I started another world for the COVID lockdown since we um, began uh, isolating. And um, so believe it or not, I landed on a fantastic world and spawn is beautiful. It's got everything in it and I'm not sure what am I in. I'm in um, just a regular plains. It's not even a flower plain or anything like that, but I've got lots of bee nests. And one of the things that I really like is I don't know if it was a update or a fix, but now um, when you grow trees, you can randomly spawn a bee nest. So um, that was something that was available during the first snapshot, I think, of 1.15. But um, then they took it away when they launched 1.15, and then they brought it back. So I'm really happy about that. So I want to show you my farm. This is a regular farm, but I put bee uh, nests where the water source is. And so I have basically an 18 by 18 farm. And I can, of course, trade out the crop, whatever I want. And I've already maxed out my carrots and potatoes. And I grew some beetroots, but I really don't know what to do with beetroots, except make beetroots do. Um, but what I wanted to show you guys was my setup because one of the things that we do is we want to either get honeycomb or bottles of honey. But you can either right click and run or you can smoke them out using a campfire. You used to be able to wait until nighttime to um, shear or bottle the honey but I tried doing that at the start of this world and the bees came out mad. So what I've done instead is I've added some uh, dispensers and in the dispenser are my empty bottles. I'm gonna switch this one out just so you can see. This is gonna give me an odd number of bottles, but for your sake, I will show you guys. You can also put um, a pair of shears in the dispenser, and I'm being very careful <laughs> not to accidentally right-click <laughs> my um, bee nest here. But yeah, so in the dispenser, you can either put empty bottles or a pair of shears. And as you can see by the dripping honey, which is just dripping down on my hopper here, I've simply got a hopper chest, I mean a chest hopper, nest and dispenser set up here. Um, I had another like greenhouse setup and I used this exact setup and it worked great but somehow I'm glitching now and I don't know if it was uh, if there's a bug in the game but um, when you dispense the empty bottle it's supposed to collect the honey and that goes down into the hopper and into the chest obviously but mine hasn't been coming out that way. It's going back into dispenser as a full bottle of honey. So anyway, I wanted to show you my redstone. It's very, very crazy simple. The only reason I even have repeaters is for the length because um, I think it goes over 12 or 15. I don't remember what the length is, but just to be sure, I have a couple of repeaters here to get us started. And then another set of repeaters after the first row of beehives um, bee nest just to get it to the end to the other uh, set of bee nests. The only problem with this setup, if you want to call it a problem, is that you can't harvest them one by one. You have to wait till all four are full. And once they are all four full, then you just click this button. And I think I have the volume high enough. Let me just um, up my volume a little bit. And you can hear the glug, okay? But what's really nice about this is, see, I've got some bees hanging around. Well, let me get rid of the scaffolding. I just use the scaffolding to show you guys that we could go up there. 
but I've got some bees out and hanging around, and of course they're inside. Normally, if you right-click with the shears or you right-click with the bottle, they come roaring out with those red eyes. And here, I'm just going to click it. I'm going to be very, very quiet and not talk for a minute so you can hear the glugging of the bottle. That was a really quiet glug. But if you notice, I'm sitting out over here. That bee that just went into the hive had normal eyes. That bee over there in the corner, he's just minding his own business. Nobody's paying any attention to me, and the reason that I love this setup is that I don't have to stress out about um, hiding and, and running from my bees, and the reason mm -hmm. is I'm not scared to get stung by my fake digital bees. Um, I'm also wearing uh, some really OP armor, so it's not going to hurt me. However, as you know, when a bee stings you in real life and in Minecraft, they die. And I don't want my little bees to die. So I created this setup. I hope you like it. Um, I hope it gives you some ideas how you can safely um, harvest honey and honeycomb without angering the bees. So I just wanted to go along here. Remember this first one on the left here? I use shears instead of bottles. So what happens if you look in the chest is there's my three honeycomb. It didn't pop out, it didn't go anywhere, it went straight through the nest, into the hopper, into my chest. Life is beautiful. I'm going to put my um, bottles back because right now I am focused on um, harvesting as much honey as possible to make honey blocks. I am going to eventually make my sheet pen over there fenceless. That's right. So I'm excited to do that. Now here, look, no honey bottles. So what happens is if you look, I'm sitting here holding that honeycomb. If you look in the dispenser, I have 23 bottles that are empty and one bottle that's full. So if I hadn't substituted that um, the shear for bottles, I would have a perfect foursome of bottles that I could make a block. So I'm going to go ahead and take these three. It's a small glitch, but as long as your um, dispenser is not full up or all the slots aren't occupied, you'll get your honey back um, in the top for some odd reason. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go grab this extra bottle of um, honey that I had when I first started. I had a one of those three bottle sets. And I had manually harvested my honey and I ran like the wind. So all I'm going to do is just, and this is all you do, is replenish. So now this was just my demonstration. So I'm going to tell you guys that um, when I'm in regular gameplay, I'm just going to harvest 24 times. Glug, 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 glug. And once I've harvested all those um, honey bottles, then I'll go collect all of them at once. And then I'll go ahead and make my um, honey blocks. Oops, I forgot to put that away. So as you can see, I have not been doing this for very long. I am just now getting started. I had to save a view for you guys because for some reason, these bees, I have actually overbred them. There's more than 12 bees floating around, but because they go off and collect their stuff and come back and trade off, um, nobody's hurting for a room and board. But it does mean that they um, reach honey capacity at different times. So I have to wait till all four are dripping honey before I can go push that little button. But right now, um, we are good. We have just finished harvesting. And uh, we are going to go ahead and wait for the next round. Okay. My fence posts here are just for my aesthetics. They're not needed because, of course, my little railing floats in the air. But this just makes me feel a little bit more balanced and like it's not going to fall on my head. 
So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and hit like and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you. Have a great day.